Also related to storage accounts, an interesting question is this one where we have a storage account called demo, inside it a container, exam, and different files, but we consider only one called question. Now uh, you'll uh, need to say what's the URL to access this question file. Before going to the answer, I would like to present you briefly how blob storage resources are created and defined in Azure. So a blob storage offers three types of resources, a storage account, inside it a container, and inside the container you have blob files. Now for storage accounts, I'd like to show you the documentation because here you can see that actually a storage account provides a unique namespace in Azure for your data. And uh, you have here an example. If your storage account is named my storage account, then your default endpoint for your blob storage is this one. So it's the name of the storage account that blob that core that windows that net. So in our case, if we go back, so we have the storage account demo, which will go in this um, URL as uh, in first place. And then we have blob.core.windows.net slash the name of the container and the name of the files. So actually it goes in this order. The storage account is the first one, then you have the container name and then the file name. And second question would be, the company wants to allow users to download this um, file, this question, uh, this file called question, and the access should be granted for a limited amount of time. For example, let's take two days only. And you want to, you are requested to implement, so to come up with a solution that's secured to access this object. And now you have to choose between these four um, answers. So either you provide access keys or you give access to the container. You give um, public access to this container or public access to the file itself or do you generate a, um, a shared access signature. These are the four, uh, the four uh, options here. And we go back to the documentation because it's pretty clear. And I know that people might get, again, confused for this kind of question, especially if they are not really used to it. But if we go to the documentation, it uh, says clearly that a shared access signature provides secure delegated access to resources in your storage account. and due to this solution you have granular control over how a client can access your data so uh, you can control to what resources the client has access what permissions it has to, um, to those resources and for how long the uh, SAS is valid this is exactly what we need here so the correct answer is to generate a shared access signature. And also the other options, the other three options are incorrect because they don't provide a secure access to the storage account object.